An underwater earthquake opens a huge gap in the ocean floor. A large volume of water moves to fill the crack. At the same time, waves start to spread out from that point. They're just a foot high at first, but the closer they get to shore, the larger they become. When the waves reach shallow waters, they start to slow down. Their lower parts get to dry land first. This creates a vacuum effect that pulls the water away from the coast. The harbor and seafloor are visible now. And then, an enormous wall of water hits the shore. It wipes out everything in its path. Several minutes later, more waves usually arrive. Or it can be a landslide happening near a large body of water. Enormous amounts of forest, soil, and rock roll down into a lake or ocean, producing huge tsunami waves. Volcanic eruptions are responsible for 5% of the world's tsunamis. They can move great volumes of water and generate really big waves. Some tsunamis are caused by meteorites striking into our planet. If one of these red-hot space visitors strikes the ocean, the force of this collision displaces enough water to produce an extremely powerful tsunami. When a tsunami starts, its waves are usually just one foot high. That's what a small wave looks like. It comes up to the waist of the average person. Surfers call such rather big waves double overhead. The largest earthquake ever recorded happened near the coast of southern Chile. It triggered a tsunami that reached Hawaii, Japan, and the Philippines. The tsunami's largest wave was as tall as a five-story building. The largest wave ever surfed was half as tall as the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Garrett McNamara set this record in 2011 in Nazaire, Portugal. In 1995, scientists proved the existence of rogue waves, sudden unexpected swells. On that day, they saw an 84-foot wave. It was taller than the world's largest passenger plane Airbus A380. The giant was surrounded by smaller 20-foot waves. Tohoku tsunami waves in 2011 were generated by the strongest earthquake in Japan's recorded history. The highest wave was almost as half as tall as the Brooklyn Bridge. Krakatoa's volcanic eruption in 1883 produced the loudest sound ever heard on the surface of the planet. The highest tsunami wave the eruption formed was as tall as the Statue of Liberty. April Fool's Day tsunami in 1946 was triggered by a powerful earthquake near Alaska. The tsunami's highest wave was a bit taller than the Colosseum in Rome. The Boxing Day tsunami started in the Indian Ocean in 2004. It was caused by a powerful undersea earthquake. Its tremors produced a series of tsunami waves. The largest of them almost reached the height of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. One of the most disastrous landslides hit Lodolin Valley in Norway in 1936. An enormous piece of rock, almost twice as large as the Eiffel Tower, broke loose and hurtled into Lovetnet Lake. This caused an enormous tsunami wave. It was almost as tall as the Taj Mahal in India. 2017 Greenland Mega Tsunami was triggered by a massive landslide at one of the fjords. The waves that flooded the shore reached the height of Big Ben. A powerful volcanic eruption caused a landslide from a 4,000-year-old lava dome. This set off Unzen Volcano Mega Tsunami. The largest wave was half as tall as the Space Needle in Seattle. Fogo Mega Tsunami happened 73,000 years ago, when a part of the Fogo volcano collapsed into the sea. The Mega Tsunami's largest wave was as tall as the Washington Monument. When the upper 1,500 feet of Mount St. Helens exploded, it caused a massive landslide. A part of this avalanche plunged down into Spirit Lake. This caused a wave that was more than half the height of the Eiffel Tower. The Vejant Dam mega tsunami happened when a landslide dragged 9 billion cubic feet of forest, soil, and rock into the lake. A colossal wave overtopped the edge of the dam, taking out everything in its path. Its height was greater than that of the Golden Gate Bridge. A landslide in Latuya Bay in Alaska formed a mega wave, one of the largest ever recorded. The mega tsunami surged over the headland, washing away trees, plants, and soil down to bedrock. The wave reached more than half the height of the Burj Khalifa, the tallest construction in the world. 
A third of the East Molokai volcano in Hawaii caved in and collapsed into the Pacific Ocean. This created a tsunami the size of the second tallest building in the world, Shanghai Tower. 